What's up, Day in the Life Core Gang? Today I have an unboxing. I'm just gonna get right into it. I had a company to reach out to me and they want me to review on their product. This is a um, car jump start. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. I don't know how they pronounce it, but it's spelled F C O N E G Y. And this is model F C. 600. So we're gonna open this thing right up. Well, I'll get into some of the specs. So it's a battery capacity of uh, 20,000 milliamps. Uh, starting current is 1,000 amps. Peak current, 2,000 amps. And it has USB. Well, we go over some other things. So it's gonna be kind of unofficial. I mean, official unboxing, but I'm not gonna get into all the specs. This is pretty cool, hard case, real hard case. Has the logo right here, email address for support. It's a real hard case, so it won't get damaged. Nice little carry loop, and it's real small. I do like that. Compare it to the size of my iPhone 11, so it's pretty small. We're gonna open this thing right up. User manual, of course. Other papers. And you have your cables that are separated up top. I'm just drop one, and then this is the unit itself. I'm sure I'm gonna have to get a charge on this thing before I can do anything. I see you have the USB slots here, so you can use this for a battery charger also. If you're in an emergency and you need it. A charger, this is not big at all. I'm going to compare this to one of my um, chargers that I have. So just for a size comparison, this is my 10,000 milliamp battery bank by Anchor. And this is this unit, which is 20,000 milliamps. And you'll notice the size difference is not that much of a difference. A little bit thicker. But this packs about 10,000 more milliamps than this. These are the cables. This is for a car charger. You can use a car charger and plug it into that. This is a EC5 connector. This is where you're gonna plug it into your car not plug it into your car, but you're gonna crimp these cables onto your battery. You also get this USB-C charger cable, which is pretty standard on a lot of electronics nowadays. So we're gonna get this thing charged and I'm gonna get it set up and show you guys how it works. You got it all charged. So I found out this is your on and off switch. So you just slide it down, power it on, and this is the button that you use to see what percentage the battery is at. And you use this same button to activate the light. So you just go, sorry, hold it in. Turns on the first mode. You got a couple different modes. Click it again, go to the next mode. Next mode. And next mode. Power it off, you just click it one more time and it goes completely off. So of course, like I told you guys, you know, you have areas where you can charge other devices right here via USB, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to use this. Most people already know how to use it, but this is for the women that may not know how to use it. And unfortunately, some of the guys that may not know how to use it. You're gonna open it. You're gonna take the unit out. And you're gonna take out the cables that clamps onto the battery. So you're gonna want to plug this in right here in the EC5. It's the only one way it can go. You'll notice the way these are made. It's 
It's only one way you can go. You can plug it in like so. And you're gonna connect negative to negative and positive to positive. Now, once this indicator goes green, I don't know if you guys can see it. This indicator goes green. You're gonna, of course, power it on. Once this indicator goes green, that's when you want to get in there. Then you want to start the car. It's just that simple, guys. And when you get ready to stop using it, you're gonna power it off, of course, after you start the car. You're gonna unplug it here first. Take your cables loose. And that's it. It's just that simple.